morning viewers, hope you're well uh, and keeping safe during this lockdown period. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, the measuring of fish. Uh, due to the measuring of fish, that's how you'll be able to get your weight of the fish. Uh, we use that in the uh, most of the competitions we fish. Uh, that's how we get the weight of our fish. So all the competitive anglers will know uh, about this, what I'm talking about, the measurement of fish. And all for the up and coming anglers, it's important to know how to measure your fish uh, in order to get the weight. So there's basically two instruments that I use when uh, measuring my fish. Uh, it's a set of skewers. Uh, these skewers I've taken and I've just put on my uh, small floats that I use for my brim. I've just basically stuck them on the top here so it's much more easy for me to identify when I poke them in the sand. And then the other instrument I use is my measuring tape. Uh, this is a three meter measuring tape which I've taken and winded on to one of my old Maxima spools. Uh, it actually makes it easy for storage. Uh, and then when you come to measurement, measuring of fish, there's actually uh, four different uh, ways we measure fish. We measure fork length, total length, precordal length and disc width. So I'm just going to run you through that quickly, uh, which method is used for which type of fish. So if we look at on our edible side, uh, we use fork length for our kingies, our shad and fish like that. Um, that is actually uh, fork length. It's from the V of the tail. So the V basically going to measure in between uh, the V and to the end of the mouth uh, of those edible fish. That's where you'll poke your skewers and that's how you'll get the fork length uh, measurement. Uh, in the other option for edibles as well, you get total length, which we use for your rockhard, which we use for your cob. So basically that's the total length of the fish from the uh, mouth right till the end of the tail. That's your total length. And then we use total length for your um, sandies, uh, your spotted gully sharks. Th these sharks, they don't have any teeth. So we do total length. So basically it's from the tip of the uh, snout right to the end of the tail that's how you're going to get your total length then we come to disc width that we use for our stingrays like your diamonds your honey cones your duck bills, your eagles basically it's the uh, wingspan of the fish so once the fish is landed you will take your pegs and put it on either side of the wing uh, in the ground on either side of the wing, you'll remove the fish and then in between those pegs, that's the measurement you'll get, which you will basically convert it to weight. So the length to weight. And then for most of the shark anglers uh, that are targeting your grey sharks, your um, Zambezi sharks and stuff like that, those sharks that have uh, basically have tooth, your teeth sharks, uh, you will basically use pre-caudal length and how to identify pre-caudal length is from the snout of the shark uh, right to the end of the shark basically behind the second dorsal fin you will find something it looks like a cut basically and that's where you'll identify your pre-caudal point that's where you will take your measurements between those two points there so basically th those are the four methods or basically the four ways we measure different species of fish so I hope this assists uh, some of the new anglers on uh, how we go about measuring fish and how we calculate uh, from length to weight. Uh, there's a lot of websites out there that you can calculate from length to weight. There are books as well. So uh, you can Google them. I wish you well. Uh, and when you measure your first fish, uh, make sure you do it the right way. And uh, wish you many, many, many catches. Tight lines.